Hi, this is Howard from Cycle Van. We're going to talk about the step tread replacement on our running board. Um, in the case of the Sprinter, uh, the diesel fuel filler neck on the driver's side is uh, near where the running board is, and when the diesel fuel attendant or whoever's filling it up spills diesel fuel on the step, it has a tendency to take away some of the uh, properties, most of the properties of the adhesive holding the step tread on that comes originally on this step. So, how do we deal with that? Diesel fuel is spilled on it, the step tread is all nasty looking and wavy, and it's gonna come off anyway, so we're gonna peel it off and replace it. So we have a new uh, tread material, it's a little bit different. It's gonna have a little bit extra adhesive on it, and the installation of this tread requires a couple of steps uh, worthy of a short video. So we flip this step over. Again, we dismounted it for illustration purposes. You can do this on the truck. If you look on the underside of the step, there's three screws holding each one of these end caps on. The two outer screws screw right into the aluminum, and you got these two and these two. Now, there's something significant about these screws. You're going to notice that two of the screws have wider heads, um, and two of them are smaller. Uh, you got to get them all out, and sometimes these smaller head screws, they bind, and you're not going to get them out. So you have to drill the screw heads out. Uh, and you'll be able to put new screws next to where they are once you reinstall them. So you're going to drill these out, and you're going to take these screws out, and you're going to pop the end caps off. Now this one is a new step. And the screws come out, but if they likely won't if it's been on there and weathered. You're going to just drill them out with a nice crisp uh, 3 16 drill bit. Pop the ends off and set them aside. Next, you're going to take a cleaner and you're going to clean it with Crud Cutter, Fantastic, or some other suitable household cleaner. And then we took some Windex or glass cleaner to take away some of the residue or soapiness that this might leave. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look and see where the adhesive strips are. And we're installing this such that the ribbed section, this one's smooth, this one's got little ribs in it, this is going to be facing outboard. Okay? But before we put that down, we're going to take the sandpaper and we're going to sand the surface of this and rough it up so this adhesive can bite in and this will give you a better bomb than you had initially. Uh, you got to make sure you're not going to go out to the side where you see. You're only going to stay within this area where the step tread goes. You're going to scuff it with the supplied sandpaper. There's a little piece of adhesive. You're going to make sure all that's off and then you're going to scuff it. Stay away from this area. Keep your finger like that. And you're going to stay away from this area, so you're going to go right next to it. Because you don't want to scratch that. And then you're going to take alcohol. we give you some alcohol pads uh, in the package. Glass cleaner, alcohol. Now, with the alcohol pad, and this thing's wiped off, uh, there's another step before you stick this on. And we're going to show you that in a second. We got an alcohol pad, a couple of them, and you're gonna okay. you use this adhesive promoter after you use the alcohol prep pad. Now this adhesive promoter is a pretty aggressive chemical which prepares the surface uh, uh, optimally for the double-sided tape to be applied. You're going to want to put that only on the areas that are hidden by the tread. You're not going to, again, you're going to want to stay away from the face of this and this exposed back part. So in this case, we've done this already, and we're putting the smooth, rather than the texture, the smooth toward the back. So we're going to peel part of the liner tape, and we're going to even it up with the edge. 
I'm going to press it down. We're only pulling one strip off. And we're keeping it pressed against the back, right tight against there. Okay. Got this back strip down. You got the rest of these three that aren't down. This is sticking down pretty good. Peel off the rest of these. that looks we got the step tread bonded in place okay next step before we put the end caps on is to cut a certain amount and shape of material off and you'll find these instructions on here so what we've done is I've scribed a, a little uh, grease pencil line where the cuts gonna go and this allows when the end caps are on this allows for expansion and contraction in the temperature chain so if you follow these instructions you'll end up with a nice result so I've Made the line. I'm going to take a nice sharp razor knife. Actually, you're going to probably be doing this on the truck. Your measurement that you're taking to make these marks, by the way, is from the edge of the aluminum running board, not this rubber, because it could be overhanging a little bit. So you're measuring from this edge and then making your mark. And I'm going to cut this side now. This is what you end up with when you have a proper cut. Got a triang slightly triangulated cut on each end. And then the end caps are going to go back on. Got this little edge here that clips over. I'm going to slide that on. And these go right into here. These are the old holes that we managed to get those little screws out. You would have drilled these out if they were stuck and were likely to be. All right, so we got the um, end caps slid into place and we have to put the screws back in. You got the screws that you drilled out, these holes are gonna be big and unusable, so you're gonna put these self-drilling screws right next to it. So you're gonna put this one back, and then you're gonna put, you're gonna push that in. You might be doing this from under the truck, push that in. And they'll drill their own hole. And then you do the same in these holes over here. This is what it looks like when you're all done. It looks fresh like it used to look. You got a more adhesive on here and you've prepared the surface for that adhesive to hang on better. So you should get some good use out of this replacement uh, uh, step tread. Thank you for visiting us at CycleVan, uh, SprinterWorld.com, FordVanWorld.com, ProMasterWorld.com and uh, thank you.